For this summer's expedition, we are trying to get to the source of the Yellow River and actually to define it. The reason why we want to go to the Yellow River is because I've been to the source of the Yangtze three times already. Then in 2007, we went to the source of the Mekong. And when we talk about the three great rivers, it is the Yangtze, the Mekong, and the Yellow River. So it's quite natural that now we want to also complete that loop and go into the source of the Yellow River. Usually, as soon as we leave uh, our center, we, we hit the wilderness area, we were camping out every day. But in this case, because of a number of factors, some of the disturbances on uh, the Tibetan Plateau, then the earthquake, we ended up making this huge detour around the plateau, uh, going east through earthquake-stricken area, staying in hotels every day, eating at restaurants. So it really doesn't feel like uh, any previous expedition in terms of the way that we've been traveling. However, the worst part is over now. I think as of today, we're actually moving into an expedition mode. Well, here we are at 3,800 meters. We just came from uh, pretty much the Gobi earlier today. To now, winter climate. We move out of Gansu into Qinghai to the Tibetan areas. For me, what's really fascinating is that all three of these rivers come together here. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a silly saying, but they call it the kidney of Asia. Really? <laughs> Which doesn't really <laughs> capture the, the romance of it, but, but, it's but vital. It, it really does you know, speak to that ecosystem you know, effect, yeah. that service that's provided to the whole of Asia. I happened to be invited to the Olympic torch run and I chose the site which is Qinghai Lake, the largest lake in China and I think it's quite significant to our work because it's an area that's very pristine and natural and uh, it is an area where Tibetans, Han people as well as Muslim all kind of converge so it's also very representative in terms of the cultural diversity that we have been dealing with for many years. We got up close to uh, the Tibetan nomadic lifestyle. Yeah, that was the most surprising, I think. That was very nice, wasn't it? The simple lifestyle of the nomadic people. Just having to depend so much on a single animal. It's it very eye-opening to me. It is certainly interesting to see how people survive in this climate. After over two weeks on the road, we're getting closer and closer to our destination. By tomorrow, I hope early afternoon, we're going to look for local guides, probably find some horses. If we're fortunate, we'll be able to drive up the river bed to a more important and newer source to the Yellow River. This is the last 20 kilometers on the straight line. I hope tomorrow we just walk to the source. We're right here at our base camp. We're trying to get around 8 to 10 yaks together for carrying our stuff up there. And uh, hopefully we can get going tomorrow walking. We hope to use one day to hike up there and then spend one night. The next day come right back down.
Alright, we're leaving right on the dot at 10 o'clock now. Everybody's gonna be first work walking, and we have three yaks that we can ride. Children in Green China in Taiwan, we all know a famous point called the Huanghe Zhi Shui Tian Shang Lai. That's been the Yellow River the starting from the heaven. So for me, as a journalist, to find where is the real heaven, the, the source of the Yellow River, I think this is a good story for my readers. Today we hike 12 kilometers, at such elevation is still quite tiring. Tomorrow we cross that ridge into the headwaters of the Yellow River and the actual source. So as the crow flies, we're six kilometers from the real source now. Okay, good. let's go. Okay, Martin's just telling me we're right now standing on the watershed. Just a little bit to the left will be where the yellow river source comes down from. This this one is CNC coming down this way. So well, the main thing is we're gonna head this way. Well, we arrive at this new source that is going to be defined as the scientific source. 4,878 meters, June 29th, 2008, at 1220. This is the scientific source of the Yellow River. Okay, Martin. I call this the, the triple crown after the Yangtze, the Mekong, now we're at the source of the Yellow River. I'm quite happy that we can establish this as the scientific source now. So, as an old Chinese saying goes, until you get to the Yellow River, your heart would not give up. So, finally I'm here at the Yellow River source. I feel fully contented and hopefully we'll look forward to future endeavors as an explorer. I think I'm going to be looking for future work to do.